Hello, collective. This is your morning walking crocodiles. So look, just a quick message. I wasn't even really gonna get on, but I just seen a sign that said ahead. So I feel like it's saying, full steam ahead, guys. Full steam ahead. Let's keep going. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> Get on that train, whatever train y'all on. You on the train to Georgia? Somebody on the train. Full steam ahead. Y'all on that Holy Ghost train. Get on that train. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Y'all doing good. God is weeding out. He's separating the trash from the treasure. The bad seed from the good that you planted. Those of you who planted good seeds, full steam ahead. All right, those of you who put it them black, planted them, ooh, planted them black seeds, black magic seeds, <laughs> you're getting that too, but you're going to get it right on your lap. This ain't Texas, and we ain't holding on that energy. It's going right back to you, so that's the seed you planted, that's the seed you're going to get. It's budding time. Spring is coming. The buds are on the tree. The seeds has been planted, they blooming, and it's about harvest time. So, those of you, keep going, keep moving forward. And those of you who planted them bad seeds, they're coming right at your door. So, understand, ain't no need to get depressed or upset. Just accept defeat, because that's what you wished and manifested for yourself. You were so worried about somebody else's success, someone else's stature, someone else's business, someone else's views. You planted bad seeds for your own self. Because what God say, be careful what you're wishing for because you just might get that. You be out here wishing bad for others, you're going to just get that, what you're wishing for. Universe respond to what you wish for. Now, continue to stay positive, guys, because storms is coming, tornadoes is coming. I see, I see waves. So it is gonna be some tornadoes, some type of floods. I don't know, something with water. Okay, message. I just seen two birds fly across. I see it. So be careful out there. The storms is life is raging. Okay. And um, it's not for the weak. It's not for the mouths, not for the weak, it's not for the wicked. If, if you weak, mild, or timid, these storms are not gonna be for you. You gotta be strong. You gotta be steadfast. All right. Hey, there you go. <laughs> okay, three, three, three on the clock. The angels are with y'all. The angels got y'all back. Archangel Michael always with us. So y'all don't have to fear. You don't have to worry. You just got to keep on moving, collecting. And block out the, all the haters. You know, that come with it. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't moving nothing. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't got no motion, is what they say. <laughs> so, confirmation. So, that's going to come with the territory. Because your energy reflects their demons. The inner river takes their demons, okay? So, what they have to realize is that it's not you. It's God talking to him. But the preacher say it ain't you. It's God in the building, okay? And see, when they go take it personal and try to attack you, that's where they mess up. Because God say, touch not my anointing. No weapon form against me shall ever prosper. So, just know you're going up against God. And um, God don't never lose. So, I don't know what you're going to do about yourself. It ain't taxes. <laughs> Ain't no hold em. So lay your cars down, 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 down. Yeah, lay them cars down. 
Y'all hear my plane about to come around? Facts. Okay. And I have been picking up. Somebody is from Texas. Um, I don't know what you're doing. If you playing poker or gambling or something, you are definitely bluffing. And you're losing a lot of money. I don't know. That message has been coming around me for a while. Uh, you lost a lot of money. And I think you're mad about that. And I would say to the people that's gambling or playing poker, somebody is really, really upset that they lost. And it could be dangerous for you. So just keep that in mind. I don't know. Whatever message that's for. Somebody mad that they lost. And they crazy as hell, okay? So just ask God to give you protection always. They could be doing some type of spell work. Um, if you're a gambler or you like to gamble, somebody's trying to do some type of spell work on you. So just be prayed up, man. Be prayed up. Because the enemies... It's always going to be around. Like I say, if you ain't got haters, you ain't got motion. Okay? Because the devil hate what you're doing for good. So if you a good person and you're doing good things, y'all hear my plain facts. The devil is going to send your haters. Now, haters don't know why they hate you. They don't know. They ran by the devil. Okay, so... I tend to not take it too personal because you know it's a demonic possession. I mean, if you really think on a spiritual level, people that hate you is demonic. They're either demonic or they're broken, meaning they're just not connected to the source. Okay, so those type of people, they're doing bad in their life and they want to project it onto you. And if you're smart, and if you understand what it is, you understand that you can send them projections right on back to them. Because I don't, I don't take no projections. You project all day, I'm going to send it right back to you. Okay? Facts, you hear my plane? Just return it back to sender. Any projections people project on, you don't got to absorb that. You don't got to take that in. Facts. You ain't got to absorb that. Absorb it. If you're an empath, don't absorb that. That ain't your energy. See, what empaths have to learn is that we are absorbers. But you don't necessarily have to absorb everybody's energy. You can pick and choose which energy you want to absorb. Just let God know. I know. Send that energy right on back. I don't want it. Nope. Send it back to return it to send them. Anybody start projecting? Block. See, the devil want to trigger you because the devil want to distract you guys. What did I tell you? It's going to be distractions. I know because I get triggered. See, the devil know how to play me in different ways. But I know it's the devil, so I sit with myself. And I go through the motions and I go, okay, God. No, nope. fix it, Lord. It's power in the name of Jesus. I don't want this energy. I don't want this projection. Calm me down so that I can think clearly. So that I can handle this in a better way. Okay? And then sometimes, you just got to handle it just like how you got it. Somebody come at you crazy, you ain't got to act crazy, but you can say it in a crazy way to them. Because sometimes... Demonic energies can't understand good energy lingo. <laughs> so sometimes good people got to get in that ass. And once you get in that ass, then they understand, oh, she ain't the one to be messing with me. you damn right. Because what they'll do is take advantage of you. They take advantage of your kindness. They take advantage of your good heart. You know? And then they get used to you being good, and then they, they start feeling like they inferior over you. And it's like, nah, bruh, I'm just being nice. 
You got to put them in their place. This ain't that. You know what I mean? I'm just being nice because I'm kind. Don't take advantage of my kindness and definitely don't think it's a weakness. Because that's how people keep getting fucked up in this game. Because they keep thinking because I'm kind, that's a weakness. No, kind is a strength. Love is a strength. Because you can't break my love from me, for God. You can't break our love between me and God. This is this day. But don't get it fucked up. An angel will fuck you up. Don't cross no lines. Don't cross no boundaries. And we'll be all good. But understand, you're going to put some respect on my name. Kind of not. I could be loving and I could be powerful. That's the balance of the two. You ain't got to be ignorant. When they go low, yeah, you can go high. But you also can go high with respect and let them know who, who really in control. Because God is in control. And sometimes God got to get that, get in that spiritual ass with them. Put their foot in their ass. 11, 11 on the clock. Because they keep playing with God. So he finna put a foot in all their asses. The devil too. Because you know why? Spirit tired. Spirit tired of trying to be nice. God done said everything. It's judgment time now. And he wearing out people. See, he don't care what you look like. He don't care how much money you got in the bank. He don't care what car you drive. God going right to your heart. What your heart look like. Is it light? What's your energy? Is it dense? Are you heavy? Are you holding on to heartbreak for years and years and need to let that shit go and forgive and move on? Are you envious? Do you got hate in your heart? Or for other people? For yourself? Have you been loving yourself? Have you been giving up to others? 12-12. What have you done for God lately? They just found out the preacher been scamming people. I told y'all, 1221. Fake ass preachers and priests. Scammed the community out of like three million. Yeah. God saw everything. I'm tell you something. The eye of God see everything. See, this is where people be messing up at. They don't believe. Oh, I don't believe in God. I'm finna go over here and hurt this person. I'm finna go over here and sleep with these people and lead them where they be and break their heart. Okay. God see everything you're doing. And when you're done doing that, understand your time is coming. And it's gonna come in a time where you're gonna need God the most. Y'all ain't heard me. You hear me. You hear my plan. Facts. Let me tell you how God works. <laughs> It's going to come at a time when you need God the most. When the devil ain't going to be there. When cousin them ain't going to be there. When your mama ain't going to be there. When your daddy ain't going to be there. Ain't nobody going to be there but God. So, that's why he forgives. But also, you got to understand, he knows your heart and soul. You can say forgive me, but if your heart and soul still got hate in it, you ain't genuine. You're fake. Oh, praise Jesus. And you know, one thing I noticed about demonic people, they sure want to call on God when they in need. <laughs> they don't ever believe God, but the minute they in trouble, Lord, Lord, if you hit me, Lord, if you're just there. But the whole time when it's all right with them, eh, they don't even say a prayer. Won't even say thank you. Won't even surrender to the most high. But the minute ain't nobody around but God, all of a sudden they got this, got that. And you think God is a forgiving God, but also God see all. See, that's the part where people forget in the Bible. It's like, God will forgive you. Jesus will forgive you. Yes, Jesus and God will. Holy Trinity. Yes. But also God see everything. Knows all. You can't come to God with no fake shit and think God gonna help you. No. God is intelligent, man. Stop playing with God. 
Stop playing with God. But the whole, I ain't gonna get into the whole thing. But the message for today, just keep moving forward. All steam ahead. Forward steam, forward movement. And those of you who feel stuck, you know why you stuck. Narcs, narcissists. Y'all see y'all in the same cycle, in the same spot, doing the same thing, in the same energy, in the same everything. You know why? And it ain't because of this and that and the third. It's because of you. And narcissists, until y'all take accountability for y'all actions, y'all gonna always be stuck in the same thing, doing the same thing, hurting the same people, hurting the same issues, doing the same damn thing. And you keep you looking at other people as they the problem. Well, answer me this, narcissist, narcissist. Why y'all always the common denominator? 1555. Look up these numbers I'm calling now. Why y'all always the common denominator in everything? You know what it's that? They always, well, she did this, he did this, and I said this, and he did this, and she did this. It's always somebody else's fault. They don't never take accountability for their own actions. Y'all see that good sunlight coming up on me? God revealing everything. Because I know I've been telling it all, so you ain't on my YouTube channel, Deja Vu Tarot. I suggest you go. I am a seer. I'm about a year ahead, maybe two. I don't know. Stuff coming out, I've been said. But still, get the messages, okay? And that has been your morning message. Hope everybody doing good. Go out and get some air. Walk, exercise, move your body around. See, energy is movement. And if you're sitting in one spot, you got to move that energy. You got to kind of rock all that energy, all that negative energy around. You got to move it. Ask God to move it, but you also got to move as well. Okay? So make sure y'all getting y'all movements, getting that good energy flow. All right, collective. Have a good day.